Hi, I'm Jeremy Reynolds from Alpha Business Consultants. Here to give you some more social media knowledge, some more commentary, and really help you with it wherever you are in your social media at the moment. Today I'm talking about irritating people. No, what I mean by that, I'm talking about how, how to iris, irritate real estate customers on social media. Um, I was inspired by this by by a little bit by John Cleese and uh, his team of people in how to irritate people and see all these different ways that people get irritated. And uh, it's interesting to know that, that being irritated sometimes is an intentional thing, but much of the time it is unintentional. And it's how you interact with people that determines this. So I'm talking about, in particular, real estate today. So how to irritate real estate customers on social media. This is part one, so stay tuned. There's going to be lots of updates on this one as well. So why does the real estate hard sell irritate social media customers? Real estate marketing on social media needs to be treated uh, differently from traditional marketing methods. What do I mean by this? If you want to irritate your, cu your potential customers on social media, then interact with them on the basis of the hard sell. Try sending descriptive details of properties for sale without any personal comments. They'll really love that, actually. Now, that's sarcasm. They won't like it at all. Ask your social media contacts, what house do you want to buy, without providing any demographic information about the property for sale in your area. Treat your social media contact as time wasters. Another thing to really get on their goat, to really annoy them. If they cannot immediately tell you what exactly type of property they want to purchase and where they want to purchase the property and, and their precise price range and whether they have their finance organized. Wow, it's a large expectation for someone that may be buying their first house or is coming to you for, to be an expert. So don't see them as, as time wasters. What percentage of your social media network posts should be based on your actual properties for sale? Only about 10 to 20 percent. That's clear cut. The other 80 to 90 percent needs to be revolving around three important things. Firstly, interaction, information, and education. Only in interaction, it makes it purely social. You can't do business there. Inf purely information, well, it's too dry. Okay, and you're not going to be able to progress in a business working relationship. And education. Well, that's a combination of the first two. If you have effective interaction and information, you will educate them. Uh, first and foremost on uh, preemptive training and education on stuff that could help these potential clients. But also, as you interact with them more, you can pr provide more specific information which will educate them. So understand that some real estate professionals don't want to freely share the extensive knowledge on social networks for fear that the competitors will use their information. Now the problem with playing this fear card is that you're disconnecting from your potential customers. Right, so what you're doing, you're going deeper and deeper into your, into your cave, and then in a fear-based approach, you're saying, unless you wanna buy, I'm not gonna interact with you. Well, in reality, this doesn't work. So we need to engage, we need to help our customers, and, and really, how do we move on from this? Stay tuned, stay tuned to, to myself, which is facebook.com, Jeremy Reynolds, ABC. You can probably see it down the bottom there, uh, as well as my other avenues uh, for YouTube as well, which you can see down there as well. How fancy is that? So for more information on how to irritate customers, it's be included in the next part of this series. And for the moment, I, I look forward to teaching you or revealing how to irritate people. No more so how not to irritate people. Have a lovely day. I'm Jeremy Reynolds.